If you're looking for a good RPG game for the Super Nintendo, look no further than Earthbound. This game, known as Mother 2 in Japan, was released in 1994 by HAL Laboratory and was actually programmed by Satoru Iwata, who was, until last year when he passed away, Nintendo's president. I think it's pretty cool to see that the president of Nintendo was at one point a programmer for such a cool game. Anyways, Earthbound is a special game for so much reasons, but today, the reason we find it special is that it is a game with a lot of anti-piracy measures. Some of those anti-piracy measures are actually borderline cruel. Earthbound actually has 5 layers of protections to avoid players with fake copy cartridges and also to region lock the game. This first layer is the region locking protection. If you try to put in a game from Europe or Australia in a North American SNES, the game will freeze with this message that says that the game pack was not designed for your console. I hate region locking, it's so useless. Let me play my games. The second layer is the actual first barrier against pirates. It actually checks if the cartridge holds 8 kilobytes of SRAM. Because, you know, fake copies and cartridges copies tend to have more than that. If there's any alteration, then the game warns you with this kind of scary screen reminding you of the serious crime you are committing by playing this game. It also freezes, so, you know, it's no good. Don't even try. But if by any mean you bypass those two first layers, well, you will experience layer 3, which is way more subtle. The thing is, at many points in the game, if the game detects you're still playing a pirated version, random encounters against enemies will be ramped up to absurd levels, making the game hard and even borderline unplayable. That's the way I like my piracy protection. Make those dirty pirates play the game, but make sure they don't enjoy it, they don't deserve to. The fourth layer of protection is just like the second one, it checks for the SRAM of the game cartridge. However, it happens at some points and doesn't seem to do anything, maybe it was just left out or something, maybe it was supposed to crash the game but it just didn't work, I don't know. But the fifth layer, oh, the fifth layer. This final layer of protection happens at the end of the game, during the fight against the final boss, Gigius. Yep, that's right, one final check at the final boss. It occurs at the part where Pokey turns off the Devil's Machine. If the game detects anything at this point, it's going to freeze. So you know, if you manage to get there, you play the hard version, you bypassed a couple of things, and then the game will prevent you from finishing it. <laughs> That's cool, but then you have to reset your SNES. And here's what happens once you reset the SNES. Yep, all the save files are gone. The game prevents you from finishing it and then it, it freaking laughs into your face by deleting your hard save file. Whoa, that's one cruel piracy protection. But then again, if you're gonna be a dirty pirate, you might as well suffer the consequences, you know? Have any mind-blowing things in mind after watching this video? Share them in the comment section down below and they might appear in a future episode. If you want more VG Mind Blows, check out the description or click the cards and annotations on screen. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.